Thank you for your okay. inspiring <laughs> talk. We still have, uh, I think, some minutes to exchange uh, perhaps some observations. In the I would like to share an observation. Uh, my first um, uh, computer that I owned was a VC20. Uh, in order to, to get it running, uh, you had to type in some lines of code. Today, I have, for instance, a cleaning robot in my house, but it's for me, at least, it's nearly impossible to hack it or to program it. <laughs> and, uh, and I tried hard. And um, <laughs> I have the impression that uh, our technological world, um, the gadgets, at least in the consumer sphere, is completely sealed against the users. So the experience that uh, the children have, uh, make in, in those, uh, those classes, in those workshops, has not pretty much to do with their everyday, uh, with their everyday life, their everyday experience. Would you agree to that? Yeah, but I hope that it will change due to the Internet of Things, because mm -hmm. there will be senses everywhere in that tree and in our, you know, uh, bottle of water. Yeah. And there are nice systems um, with open interfaces where you can program them. But it's a really, um, it's an interesting question whether it will be really so open and whether we all will have the skills to actually really program mm -hmm. uh, this mm -hmm. stuff. It should be so easy that it's like, uh, yeah, like the, the command line yeah. at the, with the first uh, PCs. But uh, the black box thing we were also addressing with uh, some uh, school children, we were um, opening up old mobile phones, so the 10-year-old like, <laughs> yeah. stuff, with a hammer. <laughs> because you couldn't open it. So it was <laughs> electroshot and we were, you know, uh, yeah, opening up the black good. box and there was a metaphor for this, what you were describing. Kind of, kind of, uh, of an experience. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. It was fun. <laughs> Would you like to add to this observation yeah, something? Maybe just to add so that it's, it's really important uh, as, as young as possible so they can, as we know, from one year old or half a year old, so they try to touch and taste everything so 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 now then you can look inside the mobile phone or inside your computer we have really uh, in uh, we have to increase this kind of uh, understanding of the basics and that's why mm -hmm. this coding and and that kind of activities are crucial because again if we think about how much time children are using at school so it's still too much uh, kind of going through information not as, as a learning itself. Mm -hmm. So we should move on spending more of that time on this kind of really learning, kind of discovery mm -hmm. kind of perspective mm -hmm. of that. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I'm inclined to allow for <laughs> two or perhaps even three questions from, from the floor, perhaps, so that uh, our panelists could, could answer or remarks, not only questions, so we are not in a classroom. <laughs> Sorry. Well, if there is none for the moment, uh, thank you both, and sure. I would like to proceed uh, to our first panel. Thank, thank you, you again. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs>